Hello, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'll show you how to engrave colored business cards using a fiber laser. Let's get started. First, navigate to image-r.com. Upload the image you want to prepare and select grayscale. Next, click on resize and adjust the image slightly larger than your business card. For my 60-watt JPT laser with a 150mm lens, I use 508 dpi. After resizing, I'll choose an algorithm. I really like the Kaja algorithm. Since we're engraving business cards, I'll select Anodize Aluminum. To enhance details and shading, we can use the One Touch function. However, I disable Sharpen, Denoise, and Gamma Adjustment. Now, let's download the image as a PNG. You can also preview the image directly on the material as a visual guide. Open your laser software and import the prepared image. Once imported, copy and paste the image so that you have two copies in your work area. Assign a different layer color to the second image so we can set independent settings for each. These are my settings for business cards. Make sure to enable pass-through to achieve the best quality. The only difference between the two layers is the scan angle, which is set to 0 degrees on one layer and 90 degrees on the other. The idea is to engrave the image twice with a rotated engraving pattern. Now, center both images. It doesn't matter which one is on top. Everything is set up, so go ahead and run your job. Don't worry if the first layer appears too dark. The second pass usually improves the quality significantly. Use a soft brush to remove any residue and enjoy your beautifully engraved business card. Let's try another one. I prepare all my images the same way for business cards, so there's no need to repeat the process for each one. For these engravings, I used 0.2 millimeters business cards. If you'd like, I can make another video demonstrating the process on thicker business cards. In this case, it makes sense to crop the dog beforehand, which can be easily done directly in ImageR. I recommend doing this before resizing. You can also try engraving with a single pass, but I always lose details and never achieve the same quality as with two or more passes. If your image still appears too dark after the second pass, I recommend running a third pass. This was necessary for this portrait, for example. Let's prepare one more. I really enjoy engraving business cards. It's fast, cost-efficient, and looks amazing. If you have a fiber laser, give it a try. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated with future content. Have a great day. Bye.